what's up guys and welcome back to our channel this is the fashion babe i hope you guys are doing great and if you're not yet subscribed to our channel kindly subscribe guys continue to subscribe and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up don't forget to share this video with whoever you think might need it and guys don't forget to leave me a comment down in the comment section let me know which wedding dress on this video is your favorite and why you love it so the gowns that you're sharing here today are really beautiful they're elegant they have really amazing details and therefore guys this is your channel in case you're shopping for a wedding dress you haven't decided what you want for your wedding gown like i said in my previous video in case you're buying a wedding gown you need to take time to do your research you need to research on the kind of wedding dress that you're going to need for your wedding and some of the gowns that you're going to showcase here today are the most beautiful the most elegant wedding gowns with the most amazing detail so every video on this channel is always a continuation of the previous video and in the previous video we were learning about some of the things that you need to consider in case you are buying a wedding dress some of the things that you really need to know in case you're buying a wedding dress and if you haven't watched that video kindly go back to the previous video and kindly just watch it so that you are well aware of some of the things that you need to know in case you are shopping for your wedding dress for your big day so we're going to continue on our points on some of the things that you need to consider when you're shopping for a wedding dress. So some of the things that you need to consider is to make sure that you shop early. In case you're buying a wedding dress, make sure that you shop early because most gowns take four to eight months to be produced. And once it arrives, you need to you need to do some alteration you need to consider what you're going to accessorize your wedding gowns with so that is why i always ask people that in case you're shopping for a wedding gown make sure that you shop early so that you have time in case there will be alteration on your wedding dress and you'll also have time to shop for uh, the perfect accessories for your wedding gown which brings me to another point of you know shop early but do not shop too early guys do not shop too early because sometimes if you're having a long engagement and immediately start shopping for, for a gown the one you end up buying might be out of style by the time your wedding day comes around or you might find one that you like more or one that is even better than the one that you had bought or maybe fashion trends which come and go will the dress that you bought will have run out of fashion so that is why we urge you to shop early but not too early so in the previous video we had talked about your budget but on this video we are gonna tell you to figure out your budget because as much as it's very uncomfortable to talk about numbers it will save you a lot of heartache so before your first appoint appointment kindly make sure you know who's gonna pay your gown you know if someone else is paying get the numbers on your limit so you can stay within the budget or pay the difference yourself to get the dress that you will want for your wedding day so another factor you need to consider is to know your wedding theme beforehand know the kind of theme whether you want a garden party you want a formal wedding you want a romantic affair so know the kind of your theme so that you'll be able to decide on the kind of wedding dress so always keep the venue and the theme in, in mind as you browse for gown because the last thing you want for your wedding dress is to clash with your overall wedding style guys another factor you need to consider is to plan the non-obvious costs into the budget and when i say this I mean that say you want to buy a wedding gown of about $2,000 you shouldn't buy a $2,000 wedding gown and this is because you need to factor in tailoring accessories your veil jewelry shoes the cleaning and the preserving of the gown after we the wedding if you want it if you want it as a keepsake so these are some of the factors that you need to consider if you're buying a wedding gown don't buy the exact amount because there are other things that you need to consider that will be done with your wedding gown some of your jewelry that you'll need for your wedding these are some of the things that you need to factor in in case you know you're planning for your budget so plan the non-obvious costs into your budget 
and you'll also need to find a great bridal salon do your homework do your homework before you start making appointments since you don't want to waste time at a shop that doesn't carry dresses you like or has terrible customer service get referrals from your married friends and check online reviews to find shops with the solid reputation okay guys so find a great bridal salon and the next point uh, is brought up by our previous point which uh, you need to call the bridal salon or the boutique ahead of time don't waste your time shopping at a store that doesn't have the style the designer or the price range that you have in mind so make sure you call the boutique or the salon ahead of time so that you get uh, the lowdown on its inventory because before you even start to you know make your visit so make sure you call and find out the kind of dresses they have uh, the kind of uh, prices they have and make sure you get everything right before you visit the salon because you don't want to waste a lot of time because you don't have time to waste most brides do not have time to waste so after you call the bridal salon make sure that you make an appointment because uh, most bridal stores the dresses aren't displayed in a way that you can just leave them through uh, you know the way you do in any retail store you, you know you need to make an appointment so a consultant can help you to select the dress and then you can get to try them on it it will make you know when you make an appointment it will make everything very easy for you in case you visit the bridal salon everything will be ready for you guys so make sure you make an appointment so when you're talking about the budget you know start with a, an inexpensive budget and then you'll be able to work your way up so when you make your first appointment with the least expensive bridal shop and keep scaling up if you don't find anything that you like uh, same goes for trying on dresses during your appointments try the most affordable ones first and then you'll go up as you try uh, the, the expensive ones so that you know you may fall in love with the, the the inexpensive ones before you get to the you know expensive ones guys so guys i really hope that you enjoyed the video you know because of youtube you know policies we're gonna be able to you know make these videos this way you're not gonna be only putting music uh we're also gonna be educating you guys on some of the things that you need to know uh on our channel and i hope that you guys enjoyed the video kindly hit that subscribe button hit that subscribe button don't forget to share this video with your friends don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and i really hope that you love the the, the wedding gowns that we've shared with you guys today and i really hope that i'll be able to see you guys in my next video Play the game